Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Mobile internet is like an information highway. It has not only spawned new economies and new formats, such as e-commerce, food delivery, short videos and artificial intelligence, but also created hundreds of millions of jobs. It can be said that it has greatly promoted the progress of the entire economy and society. However, in the 2G to 4G era, the US company Qualcomm dominated the formulation of communication standards and mastered a large number of basic communication patents. It could make a net profit of tens of billions of yuan every year just by charging patent licensing fees to smartphone manufacturers. It was simply making money lying down. Even Apple, Huawei, Xiaomi and OV have become its employees. Huawei 5G came out of nowhere and completely broke the monopoly. But what Qualcomm never dreamed of was that at the stage of rapid development of mobile internet, Huawei took the lead in releasing 5G and also launched 5G equipment and chips with integrated 5G baseband which completely broke Qualcomm's monopoly in the communications industry and ended its lying down and making money era in the domestic market. Although in order to restrict the development of Huawei, the United States first forcibly modified the semiconductor supply rules and then concocted the 5G security backdoor incident, which caused Huawei to suffer a great loss. But with its powerful technology, Huawei 5G finally passed through layers of obstacles and stood at the center of the international stage. According to data disclosed by the China Information Research Institute, at the end of 2022, Huawei 5G will rank first in the world with a share of 14.59%, far behind communication giants such as Qualcomm and Ericsson. It is worth mentioning that five of the top ten are Chinese companies. It can be said that since 2022, China has made 5G the world's number one. In addition, in just over a year, China has built about 3.509 million 5G base stations, and the number of 5G users has exceeded 810 million. It is no exaggeration to say that this data is more than the sum of the United States, Japan and Europe, which is simply crushing. Musk announced a major breakthrough. Is 6G going to succeed in overtaking? Seeing that it cannot turn around in the 5G field, the United States has placed its hopes on 6G, attempting to overtake China in the future 6G field. It first wooed Japan and South Korea to form a 6G alliance and jointly develop 6G, and then invested in Musk's Starlink project behind the scenes. At the beginning of this year, it wooed Britain, Australia, Canada and Sweden to form a 10-nation alliance and release the 6G principles. Its purpose is very clear. On the one hand, it wants to catch up with China by joining forces, and on the other hand, it wants to win over allies to isolate China. In fact, judging from the trend this year, the United States has indeed achieved a lot in the field of 6G. For example, Musk's Starlink project has launched nearly 7,000 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit, and the Starship is about to be successfully released. It can be said that the trend is very obvious. Not only that, Musk suddenly announced a major breakthrough recently, that is, SpaceX's Starlink satellite internet service has exceeded the 4 million user mark, further consolidating its position in the satellite internet market. In fact, in the field of satellites, Musk's Starlink company has made major breakthroughs one after another. At this rate, 
it is estimated that it will not take long for the Starlink plan to be successfully implemented. By then, the entire space will be filled with Starlink satellites, and the United States will naturally be able to regain its dominance in the 6G field. In addition, Japanese companies have also developed the world's first 6G wireless transmission equipment in the first half of this year. It can be said that the United States 6G overtaking dream is really possible. Almost annihilated. Foreign media, 6G overtaking still failed. However, what the United States never expected is that they are making breakthroughs step by step, and China is the same, even better than them. For example, in terms of 6G patents, China currently still ranks first in the world with a share of 40.3%, crushing the United States, Japan, South Korea, and the European Union. In terms of satellite pits, China also has its own plans. For example, China proposed the GW and Hongyang constellation plans a few years ago, and in August this year, China launched the Qianfan plan, and the first batch of satellites was successfully launched into low Earth orbit. The plan is benchmarked against Musk's Starlink plan. Not only that, recently, the new generation of 6G scenario demand standard work, led by China Mobile for the first time, has been supported by 90 companies worldwide which is twice as many as the United States and Europe. According to the person in charge of the relevant promotion group, China's 6G core program planning will complete the standard formulation in 2025, officially start commercial use in 2030, and launch 13,000 6G communication satellites in 2035. Now these plans are in progress. It can be said that the 6G breakthroughs made by the United States are almost annihilated. They want to achieve a curve overtaking in the 6G field, but they will eventually fail. Even foreign media said, China's 6G is unstoppable. As the saying goes, what you say must be done, as long as the foundation is solid, you are not afraid of the building falling. The Ten Nation Alliance led by the United States has not even figured out 5G, but is thinking about making a big breakthrough in the 6G field in one step. This is like a newborn baby who wants to learn to run before learning to walk. It's ridiculous. China is different. From 5G to 6G, China has achieved breakthroughs and surpassed step by step. The foundation is very solid. As long as it continues to develop like this, China will still be able to rank first in the world in the 6G field in the future. Please like if you agree.